What's up everybody and welcome to BioS3 story time. Well, I got several emails with a little bit of confusion asking me if my name is Jerry or if my name is Lucian. Now, here's the funny part, it's both. <laughs> my handle on some of the forms and the boards out there is in fact Lucian, L-U-C-I-A-N and here's where the story begins as to where the name came from. Now, let's go back to circa, like around 1998, I guess. 80, I mean, 19, yeah, 98, 1998, I think, is the year. I go to a mall guest sighting with Brett the Hitman Hart and these two girls called the Nitro Girls from WCW. Now, WCW was the, um, the competitor to the WWE or WWF or whatever it was called back then. And my brother, my little brother, wanted to meet Brett the Hitman Hart. Now, Brett was the U.S. champion at the time. So we go to this mall, Warwick Mall in Rhode Island, and we're standing in line. And next thing you know, one of the Nitro girls looks at me. Her name was um, Melissa. Her name was Spice, the girl with the short hair. And she says, you look just like Buff Bagwell. So at the time, I had hair. It was brushed down in the front. It was thick black. I had the really lined goatee. You know, really, I was probably about 230 pounds or so, 5 foot 10. So I look at my brother, my brother looks at me and he says, yeah, you kind of do look like him. So she says, would you be interested in, you know, possibly wrestling at some point? And instantly I said, you know, I grew up watching this stuff as a kid. The British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith, was my favorite wrestler. I said, yeah, you know what, that'd be kind of interesting. So she said, we'll be back here on, uh, there was another later date. We'll be doing another signing. Come up and we'll talk then. So fast forward, I went up and I talked to her then, and the WW, WCW Nitro was appearing in Boston. So it was, I forget what arena it was, but they were going to be in Boston. So she said, why don't you come up there and we'll, you know, I'll introduce you around and we can talk a little bit more about becoming a wrestler. Okay, cool. So one thing leads to another, I wind up in Boston a couple months later at this Nitro, and I'm in the, the hotel restaurant area. And I'm sitting there talking to her, and I met Rick Steiner and, you know, Lex Luger. and Well, it wasn't Luger at the time yet. And in walks Kevin Nash, big mofo, seven feet tall, ducks to get through the door, walks in, steps aside, and Lex Luger was behind him. So Lex Luger's like six foot seven. I saw, These guys are just gigantic. And behind him, lo and behold, was Marcus Buff Bagwell. So now here we are standing face to face. I'm wearing a green polo shirt, he's wearing a red polo shirt, we get the hats on backwards. Like we actually, you know, had similar style, similar size, similar look to us. It was kind of funny how uncanny it was at the time. And Rick Steiner said, huh, right now the Steiner brothers are feuding with Buff and, you know, nobody. So what, what, what would it take to have someone be his brother or something like that and play the part? Problem is you just can't become a wrestler. You can't just go be a wrestler. You have to be trained. So at that point, I needed to go to a school and learn how to, to, to bump and how to put together the storylines and how to punch and how to kick and how to do all these things before I could even think about entertaining the idea of WCW. So I went to Yankee Pro Wrestling School of Wrestling. Now, the first day I walked in there, I met Brickhouse Baker, who was my trainer. I walked in, he says, do you have any experience? I said, yeah, I wrestled in high school. He said, good, that has nothing to do with what we do here. And I proceeded to take an ass whipping for the next umpteen weeks, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, constantly, about four hours at a clip, and I remember the first day we started, we had like construction workers, people that got out of the military, there were all kinds of people that started the class, that was on a Monday, I was so bruised up and banged up, Wednesday I dragged my ass back up to the new bed from Massachusetts to go back to the school again, and there was only me and this kid Felix left, there was like two of us out of like 35 or whatever had started this class. Two of us made it to the next class, two days later. Took the beating again, came back Friday, rested on the weekend. At the same time, you got to stay on your diet, you got to train in the gym, you got to work a job and do all this stuff. And one thing leads to another, and I started working for Yankee Pro Wrestling, which is the independent circuit. My name that was given to me before I got there from another independent federation was Luscious Lucian Bagwell, younger brother to Buff Bagwell. Not my choice, that's what was given to me, that's what I got. And I did like a bodyguard stint for a little bit before I actually got trained. When I got to um, 
the YPW after a few matches. Uh, my first match was actually um, against um, the Los Bandidos, and uh, I was actually tagging with my, for I didn't even know, soon-to-be tag team partner Andy Jacks, which we became the, the tag team title holders. Um, and I went on to, to hold the titles a few other times with Mark Chambers and Andy and uh, Craig Costa, the Boston Hard Buddy. It was a three-way, three-on-three tag match that night for my first match. And I remember getting picked up in a suplex, and I didn't think the guy would be able to pick me up. And he holds me up there, and oh, boom, on my back. And all that, I mean, it was so adrenaline rush and so physical. And by the time you walked out of there, you were just like drenched in sweat, and you couldn't catch your breath. And everything that just happened was just insane. That was it. I was hooked. So then we started, I'd have practice three days a week. We'd have two shows on the weekend. So now you have five days a week that you're running with the wrestling. On top of it, you got to get to the gym, get all your meals, and then travel and work a job on top of it. And that's what I did for about four years with YPW, waiting for that call for the WCW camp to bring me in as Buff Bagwell. I met up with Buff at a later date at a car show, talked to him about everything, gave him all my stuff, said I'm trained, I'm ready to go, ready to rock, let's go. And... Lo and behold, WCW got bought out by WWE. Contracts were very slim. Most of the guys got let go. Um, I never got my contract. Not that I was good enough yet to do it anyways, but I was developing little by little, and there are some of my matches on YouTube. If you look up Lucian Bagwell, they'll pop up. Some of the matches suck. Some of the matches are okay. Some of the matches are good. I mean, you can actually tell where I started and as I progressed through these videos where I got better and better and better. But that's where Lucian Bagwell came from. Lucian Bagwell was born in a wrestling ring back in the late 90s. And I eventually had changed my name from Luscious Lucian because I just thought I didn't like the ring of Luscious. It sounded so like so lame to Pump Daddy Lucian Bagwell. And I even had a license plate in my car, PMP DDY, which unbeknownst to me was looked at a lot like Pimp Daddy. So I'd get people pulling up next to me going, yo, Pimp Daddy. It's Pump Daddy. It's Pump Daddy. But that's where Lucian came from. So after several tag team um, title runs, and we actually beat the power company uh, for one of the tag titles, which was a big uh, big tag team in WCW, and I had a couple of inter-state um, title runs. I never got the heavyweight title. I had several matches for it, never made it to the top, and that's one thing that I regret is I did get an injury in my shoulder and my neck, which actually wound up taking me out permanently. Which, you know, at 37 it's healed, but I don't think it can actually do it anymore. But I always regret not being able to get to the top and get that heavyweight title. So I hope this clears up some questions, whether or not I'm Lucian, whether I'm Jerry. Jerry Ward is my name. Lucian Bagwell was my wrestling name. And Lucian is a handle that I've used <clears throat> excuse me, for years and years and years on boards now. BioStreetTraining at gmail.com. Leave your comments down below. www.biostreetraining.com and we're out. Story time.